I'm always one to love to flip stitches in and out and upside down as I need them. So here's two blocks in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course where I've just used the same stitch but mirror imaged. And then this way, it can actually look totally different. So I'm gonna show you where you do the mirror imaging. But one of the things to think about is sometimes when you're sewing a decorative stitch and you want to mirror image it, yes, you can go ahead and turn your fabric and come the opposite way. But so many times when you turn your fabric, you end up with so much of the bulk of the fabric inside the machine. It's just not convenient to kind of be sewing with that kind of bulk. So one of the things to do is just flip your stitch. Now here is a place where I actually took one stitch and I stitched it on either side of this zigzagged down um, cord, like a little rat tail cord, which I love. And then I stitched the stitch. Now, yes, I probably went across here and then back here, but there's so many times where I wanna stitch all the same direction. So flipping it around and again, keeping the bulk where it belongs outside the machine, not inside, allows me to keep the stitches flowing smoothly. I love that this stitch, cause it actually is quite large, it's double the size because it's nine millimeters wide but times two it makes it look like a much bigger stitch much bolder stitch and that's what I was going for on this particular block one of my favorite stitches by the way and love it with the cord through the middle and I will tell you I probably did the cord I think I did the cord first and then added the stitches um, on either side now I have been known to do decorative stitches and then add the cord afterwards so just in case things didn't turn out perfect the cord covers it up that's the beauty of couching we talk a lot about that so sometimes when you see me do couching or cord it might be to, um, like I said, cover something up that I don't want you to see. So let's take a look where the functions are on the machine. So have you stitched out your stitch book yet? You'll find that there are lots of stitches that can be flipped and flopped. So some of the fun stitches I enjoy in the 900s allow me to really show you what mirror image is all about. 907 is actually a turtle and he's my always been the one I go to when I teach my classes about mirror image because we can really see what's going on. Now do remember that what you see on screen is what you're gonna get on the fabric. So that's why the picture of the foot is here. And if you see the turtle on the road and the road is on the left side, then that's where your road is gonna be. So I love that it's very visual. Touch the eye for information. We're talking about the two options here, mirror image left and right and mirror image top to bottom. Okay, so as you watch the turtle right now, he stitches from tail to head and the base is to the left. If you flip flop him, he still stitches from tail to head, but now the base is on the other side, on the right side. I remember there was a gal who was new at our store and she was stitching a pillowcase. And I watched her whole pillowcase be rolled up in here because the way the decorative stitch was that she wanted to stitch, I think she was doing like tractors. That, she's like, well, that's the way I want the tractors to sew along the little header that she was doing. I'm like, oh my gosh, you could have just used mirror image because I saw she was struggling. So that's what I talk about when you don't want the bulk inside the machine. What is this other option? Let's go ahead and turn that first one off. Take a look where, like I said, it's gonna sew from tail to head, but when you flip flop him, he will then sew from head to tail, baseline on the left. You can actually combine both mirror images and have all four directions, by the way, this time sewing from head to tail with the road on the right. Now, why would this be so important? Let's just try to take a second we're gonna open up a quick memory. If I am looking to add two turtles facing each other, I'm gonna notice that my second turtle needs to be mirror imaged. And again, if I don't do it the right way, it, well, doesn't work at all. So, okay, that's not the right way. But if I turn that one off, now that is the right way. And if I went ahead and inserted a little heart in between there, let's just do it. You can really see what the possibilities are. Go to the 400s, there's a little heart in here. 413, and then you can see what it's gonna look like stitched out. 